All right, well, it's time now for Weird Science, and we're not going to give you the cold shoulder today, but we are going to deal with really cold liquid. We're going to be dealing with liquid nitrogen, and we're going to see some of the things we can do with this. So what are we doing here today, Dr. V? Well, we have liquid nitrogen, and we'll have some fun with liquid nitrogen, but basically liquid nitrogen is liquefied nitrogen gas, mm -hmm. and the, the interesting thing is the nitrogen gas has a boiling point 200 degrees Celsius below zero. So wow. that's that's the most fascinating stuff. And then so you use it as a cryogenic in the labs and, and you know, in microscopes and all kinds of other equipments. So you can use it to freeze, freeze things really fast. Absolutely. So I'll show you what happens. So if you expose the liquid nitrogen outside, so you oh, wow. see the, the vapor that comes out, that's a, that, that's a, um, a vapor in the surrounding condenses. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see the vapor. But you, you don't see the nitrogen coming out because nitrogen is a colorless gas. Mm -hmm. It's so boiling I, too. It's boiling. So if I blow it, you, you supply more heat, then it mm -hmm. boils faster. So wow. now the next fun fun part is if you pour liquid nitrogen and then put these vegetables in it, and you can you can it's a, you are able to break these veg vegetables like you break glass. So I'm going to put some onions. So this will be basically it's just going to freeze. Now, now obviously this is something you can't do at home because we don't all have liquid nitrogen. But you might be able to talk to your science teacher about doing this. But now do I need to watch it as you're dropping it in there? If anything pops out, well that you should it? be careful because okay. you should you should wear all the safety safety gears that is required for this liquid nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going. I'm going to take it out and I'll let you smack it. So, <laughs> with this hammer. With the hammer, which you always like. So, so what we're going to do? Smack it. Did you just put it there? <laughs> 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 so yeah, it basically, it, in, I know you can do this with a whole bunch of different things, but all it's doing is it's basically freezing it. So actually what happens it will break like almost like an ice cube. What happens is in, in these fruits there is water molecules mm -hmm. and the water molecules get frozen. So it's like you have a pack of ice cubes mm -hmm. and then you when you when you break it you're just keeping them separate. You're just breaking <laughs> it. So let's see this apple. So now. let's see if we can break an apple now. It takes a while. It takes, it takes like, a while for that to freeze. Well, oh, you want to try some lettuce then while we're at? Okay. Let's. Yes. Okay, that one's not ready yet. <laughs> Let's, Let's throw some lettuce in there, though. That should go through pretty quickly, yeah, because yes. it's really thin. Oh, yeah. You can already hear it making noise. <laughs> Let's see this flower now. Okay, we're going to put the apple back in there. Okay, and this is a carnation. I've seen this actually done with a rose where you uh, where they freeze it. So all we're doing, though, like you said, is just freezing the molecule. And uh, then, yeah, it's basically just like the... It, turns it into ice on the inside and you can smash it really easily. <laughs> Let's try one more. And now, are there any places where, um, you know, liquid nitrogen is, uh, I mean, like any planets or anything like that where you have uh, nitrogen gas, you know, as the, uh, that you know of at least as part of the atmosphere or anything? Well, I don't know actually where I believe there are some. <laughs> Look at that. And this just breaks very easily. And now it, it obviously breaks up into the small pieces and the fine pieces very well. Um, just out of curiosity, what would happen? I'm not going to, but if I were to stick my hand in there, would it freeze immediately? It will freeze immediately, so don't do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever come up with the liquid nitrogen, don't do that at home. Well, let's try the apple one more time because we're running out of time right now. We'll see. It's been in there for a couple of minutes. Let's hope. <laughs> it breaks it. You're successful. very easily. All right. You've been watching uh, Weird Science. Right now you're watching Sunrise on KGMB9. And remember, this is one you can't try at home. Maybe talk to your science teacher. Maybe they can help you out with this one.